Simon, welcome to the show. This is the, uh, the kind of irony at play here. You know, the Fed on the one hand being hawkish, and yet the data being what? Certainly running away from them, Carson, at the moment, uh, moving the opposite direction they'd like to see it, that's for sure. Um, and oil, obviously, you know, as that continues to fall, that's having quite an impact on those inflation mm -hmm. forecasts going forward. So we really are seeing a lot of demand in bonds, especially the longer end of the curve, as people uh, position uh, their exposure to benefit from falling rates. So mm. certainly, if you follow the money, uh, they're not looking at uh, any sort of further rate increase by the Fed, possibly for the rest of this year. And this flatness in the yield curve now, on, on a hawkish Fed, you know, the, the flattest we've seen in a decade, what typically does that portend? Well, it basically says that, uh, you know, the rate of uh, increases that the Fed has um, uh, suggested to the market, which was basically another increase this year, mm -hmm. three more for 2018, the market's just pricing those out. Mm -hmm. It's keeping the short end of the curve, the two-year rate, for example, is only three basis points from its peak this year, but the 10-year uh, and now the 30-year are pretty much half a percent below where they've been at the peak, which was back in March. So mm -hmm. it's really about accommodating uh, the Fed's recent action. Uh, by holding that two-year high, but discounting the probability of successive interest rate increases, and we're seeing that reflected in the yield curve moving lower. Mm. And we're seeing a lot of uh, investors, uh, larger investors, certainly hedge uh, for that movement as well. And uh, it's been a quite a successful play for them so far over the last couple of months. What do we make of uh, overnight action? Uh, Westpac printing a one and a half billion. US uh, dollar five year and as, as well a fixed uh, billion USD two. That's right. I mean, if you want any clear indication of demand for bonds over there, they actually got two times demand for that. They got about $3.3 billion demand for a $1.5 billion mm. bond issue. Bear in mind also, only a few couple of weeks ago, we had Moody's come out and downgrade 23 Australian banks, including mm -hmm. the four majors. That's had no impact, obviously. Mm. Um, so it just goes to show you that, uh, you know, even though we're seeing a very um, uh, active equity market, there is a lot of demand and a lot of money moving into that bond market at these current yields. Yeah, OK. And meanwhile, domestic issuance, uh, what's on the radar there? Perhaps even to round out the week, if anything. Yeah, look, a little bit quiet on the domestic issuance side. We did see Police Bank come out and do about $25 million mm -hmm. issue. Um, but the big news was really that Westpac US dollar one. Mm -hmm. We expect to see maybe a little bit of a flurry next week uh, before the end of the financial year. But I think uh, most uh, of the issuers are pretty much set at this point. Yeah, and you said it so well. Of course, uh, Moody's, uh, they were in a mood to move. But certainly, uh, money markets will the bond markets just uh, kind of said, say what? Mm, pretty and, much. And uh, bought up big time. Thanking you. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Carson. Simon Michel from Fig.